Hello students, myself Mehul Kodia from LD Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So in last session we solved one numerical based on elimination approach. In that numerical the first end is fixed. Clear? So in today's session we have to solve one numerical based on both end is fixed. Okay. So let's see. Second numerical of uh, using elimination approach determine the displacement of nodes and element stresses for the bar shown in figure. So in figure you can easily understand that total number of three elements. Okay. So and length of element one that is L1, length of element two that is L2, and length of element three that is L3. Same way capital A1, A2, and A3 that is the cross sectional area of element one, two, and three. Okay. So uh, the a value of a1 and a2 that is 400 mm square. Value of cross sectional area is given that is a1, a2, 400 mm square, and a3 that is 500 mm square. And length of element 1 and 2 that is 200 mm, and length of element 3 that is 250 mm. And in this numerical, we apply total two forces. First force at node number 2, and second force at node 3 that is P2 and P3. And value of P2 and P3 that is 10 km. Okay, and modulus of elasticity is uniform, means it, it is the same for all three elements. Then value of modulus of elasticity that is 200 gigapascal. And in last, uh, last numerical, we already discussed that how to convert gigapascal into Newton per mm square. Okay, so 200 gigapascal that means 200 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per mm square. So that is the given data. So in this numerical, we have to find out uh, nodal displacement and element stresses and support reaction so in this numerical two node is fixed you can observe from this figure that is node number one is fixed and node number four is fixed that means we have to consider displacement zero at one, node one and displacement zero at node number four again in this numerical two reaction force is generated because two end is fixed first end fixed that means r1 reaction force is generated and fourth number of not fixed tags means are four reaction forces generated. Okay. Now let's start how to solve this numerical. Okay. First, you have to list out the given data. Clear? So in given data, that is A1, A1 is equal to 400 mm square, A2 is equal to 400 mm square, A3 is equal to 500 mm square. That is the three cross sectional area of the element. L1 is equal to 200 mm, L2 is equal to 200 mm, and L3 is equal to 250 mm. That is the length of all the three elements. Capital E is equal to 200 into 10 raised to 3 Newton per mm square. That is the modulus of elasticity, and that is the same for all three elements. P2 is equal to P3 means not at no, uh, force at not 2 and force at not 3. That is 10 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. Here we convert kilo Newton into Newton. Okay, so this is the given data. First step that is discretization means in this step we have to identify element connectivity. Okay, so this is the diagram and this is element connectivity. Element number one mounted between node one and two. That's why element one uh, indicate node one and two. Element two mounted between node two and three. That's why element two is equal to node two and three. And element three mounted between node three and four. That's why element three indicate node three and node four. Okay. So uh, this is the first step, discretization process. Now in this numerical, total three elements. That's why we have to find out total three element stiffness matrix. Second step, that is element stiffness matrix. We have to find out element stiffness matrix for the three elements. Now for the element number one, we already derived equation how to, uh, how to find out element stiffness matrix. So equation of element stiffness matrix that is K1 is equal to A1 E upon L1 in matrix 1 minus 1 minus 1 1. A1 indicate cross sectional area of element 1, E indicate modulus of elasticity, L1 indicate length of element 1. Put all the value over here. So 400 that is uh, cross sectional area, 200 into 10 raised to 3 modulus of elasticity. In denominator, L1 is equal to 200 that is length of element 1. 1 minus 1 minus 1 1. So after the calculation, uh, we have to take a common value of 4 into 10 raised to 5. Okay, so 4 into 10 raised to 5 and in matrix that is 1 minus 1 minus 1 1. Now, in this numerical, we have to give a row number and column number as a 1 2 and 1 2. Means give a column number as a 1 2 and row number as a 1 2. Because element 1 mounted between not 1 and 2. Now, for the second element, we have to use same equation A2 E2 upon L2 in matrix 
1 minus 1 minus 1 1 so a2 is equal to 400 e2 is equal to 200 into 10 raised to 3 and l2 is equal to 200 in bracket 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 okay so the value of uh, element stiffness matrix for the element 1 and element 2 both are same because the length of element 1 and 2 are same and cross sectional area of element 1 and 2 are same that's why the answer of first two element for the element stiffness matrix are same okay so k2 is equal to 4 into 10 raised to 5 in matrix 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 in this matrix we give row number and column number as a 2 3 2 3 because element 2 mounted between node 2 and 3 okay now again same way we have to find out element stiffness matrix for element 3 in this numerical total 3 element that's why we have to find total 3 element stiffness matrix so k3 is equal to a3 e3 upon l3 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 put all the value of cross sectional area modulus of elasticity and length over here so 500 into 200 into 10 raised to 3 in denominator 250 in bracket 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 okay now after the calculation now one thing you have to remember that whatever value you take common in first element same value you have to common in all these elements clear so in first element we take 4 into 10 raised to 5 common that means we again we have to take 4 into 10 raised to 5 value common in second element same value we have to take common in third element that's why we take 4 into 10 raised to 5 in third element in matrix 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 in third element we give row number and column number as a 3 4 3 4 because element 3 mounted between node 3 and 4 we already define element connectivity based on this we have to give the node number over here okay now we have to combine all these three element stiffness matrix it's called a global stiffness matrix clear and how to combine three matrix we already learned in last session okay now step number three that is global stiffness matrix so k is equal to 4 into 10 raised to 5 that is the common in all three three matrix that's why we write down 4 into 10 raised to 5 first the size of global stiffness matrix that is 4 cross 4 because in this numerical the total number of node that is 4 that's why the size of global stiffness matrix that is 4 cross 4 okay so uh, now first uh, for the element number 1 we uh, write down node 1 and 2 so instead of uh, first row first column and first row uh, first uh, row second row we have to write down 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 in corner point of first matrix we have to put down the second matrix okay and whatever value is overlap at that point we have to give addition okay so corner point of first matrix that is one now we have to put down second matrix over here so again one plus one minus one minus one one okay again third matrix we have to put down corner point of second matrix so that is one plus one minus one minus one and one and remaining value we have to consider as a zero okay so in remaining place we have to put down zero and whatever value uh, that is overlap at that time we give the addition okay so this is the global stiffness matrix this is the answer of global stiffness matrix k is equal to 4 into 10 raised to 5 in first row 1 minus 1 0 0 in second row minus 1 2 minus 1 0 in third row 0 minus 1 2 minus 1 and in last row that is 0 0 minus 1 1 that is the answer of global stiffness matrix now we have to find out global load vector and global displacement vector okay so what is global load vector now this is the diagram global load vector means we have to identify the force at each node so node 1 is fixed that's why a force at node 1 that is r1 a force at node 2 and 3 given in the numerical that is 10 kN so we have to write down 10 into 10 raised to 3 in second node and 10 into 10 raised to 3 in third node and last node again fixed that's why that node is generated with a fixed reaction that's why we have to put r4 support reaction okay so this is the nodal load vector okay same way we have to find out nodal displacement vector global nodal displacement vector u1 u2 u3 and u4 indicate displacement at node 1 2 3 and 4 respectively okay and a displacement we have to consider in mm and in this numerical u1 and u4 we have to consider 0 because not 1 and not 4 is fixed that's why we have to consider u1 and u4 as a 0 
and last global stiffness and nodal displacement and load vector relationship that means it is the nothing but formula of stiffness what is the formula of stiffness stiffness is equal to force upon deflection so stiffness into deflection is equal to force we have to use that formula over here so stiffness into deflection is equal to force we already derive all the three equation write down global stiffness matrix write down global load vector write down global stiffness displacement vector okay 4 into 10 is to 5 1 minus 1 0 0 minus 1 2 minus 1 0 0 minus 1 2 minus 1 0 0 minus 1 u1 u2 u3 and u4 as a nodal displacement vector is equal to nodal force vector as a r1 10 into 10 is to 3 10 into 10 is to 4 and r4 in this matrix we have to remove out first row first column and fourth row fourth column because we have to use solve this numerical using elimination approach so in the elimination approach so what we decided whatever node number is fixed that number of row and column we have to remove out from this matrix so in this numerical node 1 is fixed that's why we have to remove node our first row and first column and so we have to remove first row and first column now we have to find out nodal displacement in nodal displacement we have to write down that matrix over here 4 into 10 is to 5 in matrix 2 minus 1 minus 1 2 u2 u3 is equal to 10 into 10 to 3 and 10 into 10 to 3. Now uh, from the multiplication of first row and first column and second row and first column uh, we have to find out two equation. So uh, the two equation is 2 into u2 minus u3 is equal to 0 0.025 minus 1 u2 plus u2 u3 is equal to 0 0.025. Using Gauss elimination approach we have to uh, find out value of u2 and u3 over here. So value of u2 and u3 that is 0 0.025 that is the displacement at node 2 and 3 and node 1 and 4 displacement that we have to consider as a 0. Okay, now find out uh, stresses in, in element, clear? So in this numerical total 3 element is there, that's why we have to find out total 3 element stresses like this. Sigma 1 is equal to E1 upon L1 minus 1 1 U1 U2, clear? Now put value, uh, that is the formula, you have to just put down value over here, put value of e1 and l1 and uh, multiply minus 1 1 and u1 u2 2 matrix so minus u1 plus u2 put all the value and you will get e sigma 1 is equal to 25 newton per mm square same way using same equation find out value of sigma 2 sigma 2 is equal to e2 upon l2 uh, minus 1 1 u2 u3 so e2 upon l2 minus u2 plus u3 multiply first row and first column put value u2 u3 e2 and l2 and find out value of sigma 2 that is 0 newton per mm square and same way find out value of sigma 3, e3 upon l3, minus 1, 1, u3, u4. Here in first we use u1, u2 because element 1 uh, depend on node 1 and 2, element 2 depend on node 2 and 3, element 3 depend on node 3 and 4. So sigma 3, answer of sigma 3 that is minus 20 newton per mm square. Minus sign indicate compressive stresses, positive sign indicate tensile stresses. So that is the element stresses. At last we have to find out support reaction. So in this numerical total, to support clear that's why we have to find out value of r1 and r4 using uh, r1 if we have to find out value of r1 at that time we have to multiply first row with first column so 10 4 into 10 is to 5 as it is multiply with first row and first column that is u1 minus u2 is equal to r1 for uh, multiply fourth row with uh, column is equal to r4 so 4 into 10 is to 4 multiply fourth row with column that is minus u3 plus u4 is equal to r4 put value of u1 u2 and u3 u4 over here and find out value of r1 and r2 so value of r1 that is minus 10 kN, value of r4 that is minus 10 kN. means in this numerical total 20 kN force applied in positive direction and 20 kN force applied in negative direction that means our example is 100% right thank you